Hi guys, welcome to Math with Ms. Montala. Today we're going to be talking about internal angles of a triangle. So what do we mean by internal angles of a triangle? So here I have a triangle for you and this triangle is labeled angle A, angle B, and angle C. So when we're talking about the internal angles of a triangle, we're talking about this angle plus this angle plus this angle. So these are the internal angles of a triangle. So I'm going to take this triangle and I'm going to rip it into three, uh, three pieces. After I rip it into three pieces, I'm going to show you something interesting. So here is that same triangle, I've torn it up. So there is my A, there is my, sorry, B, and there is my C. And now, if I was to take these three and put them back together in a different way, just like a puzzle piece, I end up with an angle, an angle that you're aware of. So this angle here, this forms an angle, it is a straight angle and you know the value of a straight angle. I'm not going to give that to you yet but you should be thinking. So you know the value of a straight angle. So earlier you learned about angles that you know the measurements of. So you have a right angle. If you have a right angle you know that the value is always going to be 90 degrees. You also know of an acute angle. An acute angle is anything less than 90 degrees you have an obtuse angle. An obtuse angle is anything more than 90 degrees. And then you have the angle that we just created a few seconds ago, which was your straight. And a straight angle, we know the value of. It equals 180 degrees. So, once again, I have my triangle with angle A, B, and C. When I tore it in half and lined it up, I ended up with a straight line. That tells me that the internal angles of every triangle is gonna be valued at 180 degrees. So it doesn't matter what kind of a triangle you end up with, your total value of the inside of that triangle is always going to equal 180 degrees. So if I take this, a, B, C. I'm saying my formula is A plus B plus C always equals 180 degrees. So now let's try this. Let's put some numbers in here and see if we actually end up with that answer. So I'm going to say A is going to equal 65, well angle A, we'll label it that, 75, and 40. So knowing this, I'm going to go ahead and go 65 plus 75 plus 40. And if you actually go ahead and add those up, you end up with 180 degrees. So let's try some other ones just to see how we're doing this. So now we're going to look at this. I'm giving you a right angle, a right angle triangle. I'm not giving you the value of this tri this angle, but you should know what it is. I'm gonna give you the value of this one, let's call it 40. And this, I'm gonna label X, or my unknown. So now you're using your algebraic process to come up with this answer. You know the value of this angle is 90 degrees. 90 plus, you know this one is 40, plus the value of X equals a total of 180, something I already know. So now you're using algebra to figure this out, and I want you, if you have to pause the video now, I want you to pause it and see if you can figure it out. Okay, so welcome back. Now, what you do to do algebra is first you have to put your the values of the same together. So we know 90 plus 40 can be added together, and when we add 90 and 40 together, we end up with 130, plus, sorry, x equals 180. Now, the variable x wants to be on its own because that's the one we're solving for. So in order to make the variable x by itself, we have to get rid of the 130. What is the opposite operation of addition? It is subtraction, so we are gonna subtract on this side. Whatever we do to one side of that operation, we have to do to the opposite side because it is a balance equation. So 130, minus 130 
plus x equals 180 minus 130. That goes away because that equals 0. Now x, and you go, what's 180 minus 130? Your total is 50 degrees. So the value of angle x is 50 degrees. And hopefully you got that answer as well. Okay, so that was for a right angle triangle. Let's try a different one so that you can get an understanding with some multiple questions here. Now let's do a, just a regular triangle. So I'm gonna give you your values. Um, that's a terrible looking triangle, but that's okay. Uh, we're gonna call this 38, 93, and we'll call that X again. So again, you know that it's angle A plus angle B plus angle C, and it always equals 180. So we're gonna say 38 plus 93 plus X equals 180. And again, you do the addition first because they are like terms, so we're gonna put them together. So if they are like terms, they equal 131 plus X equals 180. And again, I need to get rid of the, the, the uh, 131 because I want the variable X to be on its own. So in order to get the variable X on its own, I have to do the opposite operation of addition, and in that case, it's subtraction. So 131 minus 131 plus X equals 180 minus 131. Again, that goes away. So I'm left with x equals, and you go 180 minus 131 equals 49 degrees. And so we say the value of x is 49 degrees. Okay, and I'm going to do one more with you. So we've done a right angle, we've done a regular triangle, right angle triangle, we've done a regular um, triangle, and now we're going to do an isosceles triangle. So you know. An isosceles triangle is when two angles are the same, are valued at the same number. So let's say these two angles are valued at the same number. Let's say the value of this one is 65. So again, same process. We say 65 plus A plus A equals 180. Again, putting like terms together, and in this case, my like terms are my A's. So it's gonna be 65 plus 2A equals 180. Now I need to get rid of the 65. So in order to get rid of it, it is an addition, opposite operation, it's a subtraction. So I go 65 minus 65 plus 2A equals 180, and again, now this goes, sorry, I forgot the minus 65 on this end. That goes away, and I'm left with 2A equals 180 minus 65 is one, um, 115. And now I still have a variable and a number together, and I have to get rid of this because the variable A wants to be on its own. In order to solve it, I have to get rid of the 2. This operation right now is a multiplication operation. The opposite operation of multiplication is division. So I have to divide this side by two. Whatever I do to my right side, I must do to my left side because it's a balanced equation. Now in this case, A equals 57.5 degrees. So in this case, the value of A is 57.5 degrees for both sides. And always, you can check if you got your answer right by adding those up. And when you add those up, it will always equal 180. So I'm going to do one more isosceles triangle so you can see it one last time. And now let's do... So here I have B and B. And we'll label this corner um, 124. Again, it's not a great drawing of a 124 because that would be a wider angle. So let me just make it a little bit wider, actually, so that I feel more comfortable with the angle that I drew. There we go. So same formula applies again. So 
So I say 124 plus B plus B equals 180. I put my like terms together, and in this case, my like terms are my Bs. So it's going to be 124 plus 2B equals 180. And now I try and get rid of uh, any number that is around the variable, which is B is the variable. We're trying to get rid of anything else around it. So first we get rid of the 124. The opposite rate operation of addition is subtraction. So again, 124 minus 124 plus 2B equals 180 minus 124. That goes away. I'm left with 2B equals 56. Then I know that I have to now isolate my variable B, but it has a 2 next to it. This is a multiplication statement. The opposite operation of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide this side by 2. Whatever I do to my right side, I must do to my left side for a balanced equation. That goes away because it turns into a 1. Now B equals 28 degrees. And again, that equals 28, and that equals 28. And once again, to do a check, you can simply add these three angles up and you'll end up with the answer of 180. So that is a very quick lesson on the internal angles of a triangle. I hope that helps.